guys, it's Alyssa from Awkward Author. I know it's been a while since I made a video because I am horrible at staying up to date on making videos and uh, those weekly-ish updates are gonna be like monthly's, uh, monthly updates now. But no, I'll get another one of those out soon. There is some stuff I'm working on, so I'll tell you about that in that video. But I wanted to make this video to talk about, um, I got a I got a message, you know, when you're online and on these different social media sites, you get contacted by different organizations trying to push their their product or, you know, even contacting you about, you know, maybe working with them and stuff. And I was contacted by, you know, like a new, um, I, don't, I don't even know if I would call them a publisher. I don't, they're kind of their own separate thing. And what they're trying to do is, I don't, I don't know what they're trying to do, honestly, but kind of agency kind of publisher um, and the idea is that it's algorithm based publishing um, as far as what gets you know the the book deal is stuff where their algorithm has identified it as being worthy of publication and you know I don't have anything against science or, or algorithms or things like that but I do I do wonder if that makes sense with books, um, particularly novels, and you know, determining what is a good book or not based on an algorithm seems to me, um, this is just my personal opinion, seems like really not a good idea. It depends. If you're like, you know, a computer person, maybe you see this completely different than I do. And, you know, I'm rational and I, I think about things in, you know, a scientific way. But when it comes to something that's really like an art, I mean, let's face it, novels, even they're, they're entertainment and they're art, and it is a very subjective business. And to say that, you know, it should be objective and it should be an algorithm that determines it uh, seems really, really not right to me. Now, the way this algorithm works, it's not like, you know, the computer goes through and, and scans it and says, this is a good book or this is a bad book. Um, the algorithm is not that smart. Um, what it's based on is people reading the book. So they, they put it up on this website, I guess, and people can see it. And depending on the reading habits of the people going to the site, that helps to determine whether they think a book is worthy of publication or not. So, um, right off, there's like questionable things about, well, wait, you know, your book is out there, but you're not being paid for it, but people are reading it. Um, so I don't like that idea. And, you know, and then of course I don't like the algorithm idea either, but, uh, yeah. And I, I don't know, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I don't know that the publishing system we have in place today is is perfect well it's definitely not perfect and i don't know if it's really the way things should be done maybe it could be improved on i just don't think that algorithms are the improvement we need and so yeah what are your thoughts on this um how do you feel about it maybe i'm just you know an old person and coming at this from you know my perspective of you know algorithms have no place in publishing and you know I want it the old way and I want my books made out of dead trees or whatever. But I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with ebooks. I'm totally cool with that. That makes sense to me. Uh, I'm fine with a lot of technology and, and I don't mind shaking things up as long as it's a shake up that makes sense. But for me, I don't know. I really question, you know, algorithms. And, and like the whole thing about this was that it was, it was an objective way of, you know, approaching a very subjective business. Well, you know, I don't think book publishing is ever going to not be subjective because it, it just is what it is. Art is always going to be a subjective thing. What one person finds, you know, beautiful, another person will find ugly. Music that one person thinks is, like, really, you know, great, someone else is going to hate. Um, that's, that's how it works in this business, whether it's, you know, music or books or movies or art um it it's just it's very subjective so to try to take the subjectivity out of it i don't know if that makes sense and you know the idea is that it's based on this algorithm which is based on people reading um so it is subjective because it's subjective by the people that are reading who are these people reading and you know what are their tastes because that is going to determine you know whether the algorithm thinks something is good or not and so that, to me, then it becomes like a popularity contest, which also I don't think is such a good thing in publishing. Now we have that, you know, 
Um, there's a bestseller list, and those are all books that are written, you know, to a certain style, I think, and it's, you know, got a broad appeal, and those are the books that are going to be the most popular. They're not necessarily the best books. A lot of the books that win awards do not make it on to the bestseller list, at least not before they win an award, sometimes after the fact they do. Um, but some of the best books out there are not bestsellers. And, you know, what is best, of course, again, is subjective, too, but publishing is subjective, so I don't know that that's something that an artificial intelligence, that an algorithm, that any kind of computer program can really quantify and understand. And so that's just uh, my little my little rant and my little pitch, and I don't know what your thoughts are. By the way, I'm not going to call out this publisher by name because A, you know, I'm not going to give them free promotion, and B, I don't want to, like, you know, trash their business model. That's not my purpose. It's just, you know, I, I sent them a polite message saying, yeah, that's not for me, thanks. Um, but yeah, and, and I have an agent anyway, so this was like an agency thing, but also publishing. I, it's complicated, but anyways, it, it was a confusing thing. I would, um, you know, if you were approached by them or if you found a similar publisher, definitely take your time to do due diligence. Um, I would, you know, probably want to, you know, talk to somebody, um, you know, like a lawyer or somebody that knew a little bit more about the contract before signing anything because it's a little bit different than a standard book publishing contract or an agency contract and you don't want to get, you know, taken for a ride or anything like that. But anyway, those are just, you know, my little thoughts on it and uh, what are your thoughts?